Hey there, this is Dara Connolly, your Fearless Confidence Coach. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to have more self-confidence. Let's do it. Okay, I am so excited. Let's jump right in. I'm going to be teaching you my top three tips today on how to show self-confidence. And this is really great content. You're going to love this. So be sure to stay to the end. So tip number one is body language. You know, for many years, I was a martial arts instructor. And one of the first things you learn as a martial artist is how to hold your body, how to stand, how to present yourself to the world. And the reason they do that is because you can diffuse a lot of conflicts or fights simply by your body language. If you walk into a space with presence, people are unlikely going to challenge you. So it's the same with self-confidence. One of the best tools I can teach you is how to use your body in a powerful way. It doesn't matter if you're speaking on a stage or you're just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody. When you show self-confidence, it's a very open posture. I'm literally... Like if my chair is like this, I'm leaning further back than 90 degrees to emphasize this. Open posture, confidence is, if we go from the head down, okay, I'm gonna take you through every body part, how I want you to display confidence, beginning with the eyes, we focus on eye contact. Now, the reason why we wanna really begin to understand why this is important is because people are barely listening. They say 85% of your communication is not what you say. 85% is how you say it. That means body language. And when you look at somebody in the eyes, it conveys trust. It conveys confidence. It conveys you want to be seen and you see them. So take a moment to really look at people when you speak. This is so important. And if you have a problem, because maybe you're shy, you're not used to looking at people, well, you can kind of divert your eyes, maybe to their eyebrows or just under their eyes, but you need to be looking in that direction. Don't look down. Eyes are so important. Body language, confidence through the eyes. The eyes say everything. Even when you're listening, if you're just nodding, keeping the eye contact, people know you're paying attention and that you are confident because you're not breaking that stare. Um, and stare, I, I mean loosely, you don't have to stare, it's just that gaze. Now, when we go a little bit further down, of course we have to smile, we have to keep the confidence in our face. We want a, a very open, friendly space and face, because if we're not, you may think you're smiling, but have you ever noticed your resting face? That's mine. It's not very smiley, it's not very inviting. So we wanna smile a little bit more, to emphasize, I am confident I'm ready to be seen. But what am I doing with my hands? You notice that I'm showing you my hands, open palms are important, and I'm going to then not move them around. Body language is open, but it's also very still. There's no unnecessary head movements or jerking. It's very methodical, slow, deliberate movements. So maybe for you, if you want to show more confidence, think of how you carry yourself. Are you someone that's fidgety when you're speaking to someone? Do you tend to keep your hands in your pocket and jingle your coins? Or maybe play with a pen or rattle your keys around or awkwardly touch your face or cross your arms? See if you can start with very simple, very basic, Keep your hands and face still while keeping the eye contact. And you will notice, people will notice that about you. They'll notice that you are calm. We've all heard it before, calm, cool, and collected. Well, that's the calmness. <laughs> we wanna be a little bit less sporadic, not frantic, and more calm. So see if you can keep your body language calm and steady. No tapping the foot, no shuffling your feet. You're facing the person as calmly and still as you can. Now with that, you breathe and you try to relax so it doesn't come across as awkward or uncomfortable. But just notice that if you're swinging those arms around a little too much to reel them in. Maybe in the beginning, it feels a little unnatural to you. The good news is that not only does it get easier with practice of how to carry yourself, but it becomes a part of you. You become the person who's 
still and listens and looks and nods when someone's speaking or the person who smiles when someone's speaking. You become just secondhand. It's not something you have to work at anymore. But the coolest part about body language confidence is that the body language will speak for you. So for example, if I'm a teacher, because like I said, I taught for many years, standing at the front of the room and I come in and I don't even say one word, but I stand there with a confident stance, chest open, chin up, making eye contact to each student as I go across the room, not moving or minimal movements. The body language will speak for me. I don't even need to say, class, we're about to begin, let's be quiet, or so-and-so sit down. I don't even need to say one word. This is very helpful for you teachers or parents out there because kids respond to this. When you're still and confident with your body language, it speaks confidence and people will respond to it more than if I come in and like, okay, everybody sit down, we're about to begin. I need you to sit down. I said, sit down, let's go sit down. You lost it. Let the body language speak for you. Tip number two is the pace and tone of how you speak. So how we show self-confidence is through how we speak. You know, I coach a lot of people to the stage and they get on TEDx and a lot of times they're so worried about using the right language or to use fancier language or to up their language, the way they speak to impress somebody. Don't worry about that. What I want you to do is focus on the pace and the tone. So that means the pace is the speed at which you speak. Are you a fast talker? Do you slur or mumble your words? Is English not your second, your first language? If it is, then slow down. The tone is as if you're speaking to a friend, you're speaking to someone you care about, someone you enjoy spending time with. So that changes the way you speak. It's conversational, it's casual, it's friendly. It's not angry. It's not, I'm just trying to get through this presentation. Let me hurry up my 12 slides, my 42 points. No, the tone changes when you're talking to somebody you like. So that shows self-confidence. So trust me, when you work on the pace of slowing it down and bringing a friendly tone and not rush or mumble your words or try to hurry your thought, people will notice. Take this a step further. Do you tend to rush when you're speaking because you're uncomfortable taking too much time? I hear this a lot in my coaching, especially if women will say, oh, I don't want to take too much time, or I know I've been talking a lot. This is a really good time to remind you to not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when I publish new content. And then head on over to Instagram because I post different tips there. And if you haven't yet grabbed my free confidence tips, you're going to want to click the link below to grab those right now. Okay, so tip three of how to show self-confidence is, ready for it, drum roll, be yourself. <laughs> I mean, I know I just told you to work on your body language, stand a certain way, have a very particular pace and tone, but at the end of the day, be yourself because you're most confident when you're you. It doesn't matter to me what your personality is. I want to see it. If you're funny, be funny. If you're quirky, be quirky. If you like statistics and data and facts, then tell us some of them. Not a ton, just a few. If you're a great storyteller, then tell us a story. Use what you do well. Maybe you're a singer. You can put a little song into who you are. When you're speaking, it's just a way of communicating who you are to somebody. Don't change who you are or try to mimic somebody else's style or to hone down if you're someone who maybe uh, tends to tell really lavish stories. Don't feel like you have to change who you are. Be yourself. And then you'll notice that people will like you because you're just authentically you. You know, a lot of times, again, when I put coach professional speakers, they get so nervous. Why? Because they're trying to be something different on a stage than when they're speaking to a friend. When you are naturally you and using language that you normally speak, 
the fear goes away. It's when you try to change and turn to something you're not. So from all the people I've coached, I've seen a whole gamut of different styles. And I want you to think about which style fits to you. I've seen people that are very animated and have a lot of energy. I've seen people who are rather quiet and stoic and just state the facts and a little bit more reserved. I've seen others that are big storytellers and very dramatic and maybe crying. I've seen other people that have so much energy, it's, it's very fast paced. At the end of the day, you just gotta be you, especially in casual conversation. Don't try to change who you are. But if you focus on the other two tips that I just gave you of keeping the body language relatively calm will help you and working on your pace and tone to make it easier for the other person who's listening, they're gonna wanna hear you. They wanna see who you are. You're not pretending anything. The best way to be confident is to be you. Let your personality show. And if you need a little bit of help with this, because maybe you have a very formal presentation coming up and you know you're a big personality and you don't know how to reel it in to still keep it professional while showing, showing your personality, then let's jump on a call because I can help you with that. Okay, so now that I've taught you some tools of how to be more confident in your speaking, you're gonna wanna watch my next video, which is how to show confidence during an interview. Don't miss this. This can help you on your next job. And I know you're going to want to grab my, conf my tips in my Dara Connolly Club, which is posted below, where I have a plethora of videos to help you with confidence and so much more. So be sure to hit the link for Dara Connolly Club. And in the meantime, you are amazing. <laughs>